Oh. Uh, yeah. All of my commands have gone. Uh, every single one. And shoot little brakes W I have brakes on my pedals I'm not sure if they work though so we've got to add the hook which is left alt and G all right that could be the arrest the hook I think I spelled that wrong I don't care too small I can't even see it Right, so we save this, activate it, minimize this, that seems to be the best way. Oh my god. Before we start, if you're having trouble hearing me, press escape, go to options, then audio, and turn down the world and cockpit sounds to zero. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to navigate to and land on the Admiral Kuznetsov. Press the space bar to continue. Okay, cool. Someone's actually taken the, the time to teach me how to lower the game volume so I can hear the tutorials, because sometimes I couldn't. So this must be a newer tutorial, especially as soon as we've got a new, uh, a new narrator as well. We are paused while I give you a quick reminder of the HUD. Starting bottom left, press the 1 key twice to put the HUD in landing mode. You should see LMDG landing, K, around 12 kilometers, and an inverted L. Press the spacebar to continue. The K indication lets you know you've captured the ILS beams, that's instrumented landing system. The upside down L indicates you are on the glide slope. The ILS contains a glide slope beam, the small circle, to guide you vertically, and a localizer beam to guide you horizontally, that's the big circle. Press the spacebar to continue. OK, top left of the HUD is your required speed, and below that your actual speed. Try and uh -huh. nail 280 to 300 clicks on the approach, and 270 for the very final approach. You need 89% on the RPM gauge. Actually, 89 to 90% are where your throttles should be on any smooth approach. Press the spacebar. I need 89% on the RPM gauge. Where's the RPM gauge? They really should have gone through each of the dials a bit better. Fly towards the large circle, azimuth. Do this and you will find that the smaller circle glide slope will fall naturally into place. Try and match or just exceed the required height to be at, as indicated above your actual altitude in the top right hand corner of the hub. Yeah, slightly more I would better. unpause the lesson when you press the space bar. Crap, here we go. Set the throttle to 89% and just let the speed bleed naturally down to 270 knots. The RPM gauge is highlighted. Fly the HUD cross into the larger circle. At 10.5 clicks range, press the space bar. Uh, I get the distinct impression this is controlling my throttle again, even though I stopped it from doing that. Uh, it's controlling the... Uh... Oops, mission failure. Bad luck. Happens to the best of us. Have another go. Press escape to end the lesson. Yeah, my throttle is now controlling my joystick, which is not good. I'm going to have to go fix that for a second time. Yeah, look, it's it's rebound that. Why? It's so weird. Look, the MFDs have still got... Oh, this is all over the bloody place. What is going on here? Screwed up all my, all my commands that I literally just entered two seconds ago. Why won't it let me load any profiles? Oh, what is going on? Uh, yeah, all of my commands have gone. Uh, every single one. Can't believe that. So many button binds. How and why have they all disappeared? The whole lot has gone. Uh, probably because I reinstalled it, the software. 
No, that makes no sense because it was saved as a file. Oh man, I do not know what's going on here. So, by default, the SU33 has no configuration whatsoever. So I would now need to go into the SU33 and change everything. So I'm basically going to have to set this up again. That's why we're all over the place. The fact that I've just lost all my keybinds for Logitech is... Awful. Really awful. The amount of time I spent doing that. Ah, oh, man, I feel sick. I feel sick in the stomach. So every time I set this up and I saved it, the profile as, it saved exactly as it should do. But as soon as we loaded into the game, it loaded the SU33, which obviously had no binding whatsoever. Ah. Uh. Press the spacebar to continue. The K indication lets you know you've captured the ILS beams, that's instrumented landing system. The upside down L indicates you are on the glide slope. The ILS contains a glide slope beam, the small circle, to guide you vertically, and a localizer beam to guide you horizontally, that's the big circle. Press the spacebar to continue. OK, top left of the HUD is your required speed, and below that your actual speed. Try and nail 280 to 300 clicks on the approach and 270 for the very far. Fly towards the large circle as it Set the throttle to 89% and just let the speed bleed naturally down to 270 knots. The RPM gauge is highlighted. Fly the HUD cross into the larger circle. At 10.5 clicks range, press the space bar. Now 89% is giving me 430 knots and not uh, 310 or 270 or whatever he said I needed. That's a little concerning. Let's get dirty. Gear down, press G. Flaps down, press F. Hook down, press left, Alt and G. You can check all down using the gauge lower front left dash, six greens. You can also do a quick cheat by pressing F2, have a quick look outside, and return to the cockpit pressing F1. Okay, two more things to watch. Ideally three to four meters per second, but two or four are also fine. If it's less than minus one or more than minus five, you should be correcting to the glide slope, the small circle. We're doing 430 the the hard, knots, eh? Yellow, green, and red. This is the AOA indication. Yellow, you're too shallow. Red, you're too steep. You want green. You'll get this almost automatically if you nail the approach speed at 270 clicks. As noted, we're doing the way more thing than to do 270. Is simply fly the cross towards the big circle and oh, intercept the extended and my throttle going all the way up there. At six kilometres range, press the space bar. AOA, angular attack, and speed. Look at the indicator on the left hand side of the HUD. Yellow, throttle back a notch, stick back a touch. Red, throttle up a notch, stick forward a touch. Once in the final zone at around 5 kilometers and 350 meters altitude, type of final checks. Six greens. Try and remain 20 meters above the glide slope, i.e. the bigger numbers 20 more than the smaller numbers in the top right hand corner. Well done. Looks like you got it down in one piece. Yeah. You can end the lesson now by pressing <coughs> Oops, mission failure. Bad luck. Happens to the best of us sitting in view in the bottom of the HUD window. At two kilometres, press the space bar. Missed it. Well done. Looks like you got it down in one piece. You can end the lesson now by pressing the escape key and go for a well earned drink in the bar. Yeah, except um, I'm not on the carrier, dude. Unless they want to throw a drink up to me, that's not going to be possible.
Well done. Looks like you got it down in one piece. Yes! Begin the lesson now by pressing the stick and go for a well-earned drink in the bar. That was epic. Whew. Hope I can do a replay on that.